Okay, I'm here with Ruth Moika. Um, also, if, uh, uh, yeah, Ruth Walker. Yeah, I, I made up a word. <laughs> All right. You're also known affectionately as the Warrior Princess. I am, yeah. And, and how did that come about? Um, one of my old coaches named me it because um, in the ring, obviously, I'm quite a warrior and I, I fight hard. But outside of training, I'm a proper girl. Um, the, the word princess. Princess, exactly. Proper princess. Got my nails done from a five. Of course, you've got to do that. Get your hair done, everything like that. I know some of the lads that do that yeah. as well. Yeah. <laughs> so tonight, you've got a British title fight. Yeah. It's for a vacant title. It is, yeah. yeah. Tell us a little bit about, about that. I've trained hard for this fight. Um, I knew who my opponent was a couple of uh, about two months ago, so I trained specifically for her style. Uh, and then a week ago, it changed, and she's pulled out due to injury. So I've got a new opponent now. Um, completely different style fighter. She's come from a, a good Muay Thai background. Uh, I think she's had six wins and one loss. So, um, and from what I hear, she's a very kind of aggressive and tough fighter. So I think today it's going to be a real battle. Has it been much uh, sort of video material? For you to review on her, or are you going in a little bit sort of blind as yeah. to her style? I'm going in blind just because I, I, I don't need to know. Um, kind of my corner men have looked at it; they they know uh, what her pros and cons and things are. So they've told me when, and told me what I need to know basically. Anything else is down to them really. Um, I trust them. So. so I'm saying, it's a situation like this, you do have to trust your coach and your corner men a lot, yeah. and that just shows their added value in being in it. It's not just about standing there with a bucket. It's also it's very important that they do their research as well. Would you Definitely. Say that? You have to trust your corner men 100% because you're trusting them with your life basically when you're in the ring. So, yeah, I mean, it's difficult as well because I changed teams about a month ago. So these guys are new to me and they've had to learn very quickly kind of my style and what works for me as well. Tell us a little bit about your style. So the guy you're fighting is, is more Muay Thai. Yeah. But um, yourself, you're... I, I started off with Muay Thai um, and then I kind of got more into K1. Um, I've always said it's, it's good to come from Thai, from a Thai background because you've come from the more aggressive sport, um, whereas kind of kickboxers that work their way up to K1 or Thai have come from a, a less aggressive one. So um, it's, it's good to come from where I've come from, but it also means that my new opponent has come from there as well. Same background. Yeah. So. Have you ever done any training in Thailand? I haven't. I haven't. I'm a single mum to two little kiddies, so wow. I, I don't have time to, to go over there because we'll, like, I would want to go for a good couple of weeks, and um, I guess I'm just not in the situation to do that right now. But Is it an ambition of yours to maybe do some training out there? Is definitely. that the ultimate sort of aim of someone yeah. in your profession and your, your style? Definitely. I've got some um, kind of high-profile people that I'd like to fight within the next year or so, so I think I need to get out there and train. But it will happen one day. <laughs> Fantastic, and good luck with that, and Thank good luck you. tonight. Uh, just a little bit about what we're doing. Um, we're part of something called UK Artist Man, yeah. which is an open tournament uh, anyone can enter. It's also open weight, which makes it quite unique in, uh, to, to other things that are out there. But then, um, obviously, with open weight comes some additional concerns, safety yeah. concerns and dangers. Is that something that, you know, have you got an opinion on? Have you ever fought in a competition that there were no weight categories? I haven't, and that's always kind of a, a main thing for me as well, is that you want somebody that's the same weight as you or less. Um, it's got to be scary going in there with somebody a lot bigger than you. So it's not, I think I'd be too scared to do something like that. So kind of, that's good for, for guys that are prepared to go in and do that. I mean, eventually it is for money, so it just shows what a yeah. motivation money can be. Definitely, definitely. You get a lot of fighters that are doing it just for, for money, and even ones that are having, like, don't work and have to do it to provide for their families, and then they will go to that extreme of fighting anyone for the money. But for you, obviously, uh, in your situation, what, what motivates you to carry on your training and carry on your fighting, if money is um, not the motivation and, in, in, you I know, is the main priority? I I just, well, I always say I don't like fighting, but I do. That's a princess of you yeah, talking, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I couldn't imagine myself not doing it. It's, um, it's been part of my life now for sort of three and a half years, um, and my kids do it as well, and I couldn't, couldn't not do it. But I think I've always kind of found it's like one of the only things I'm good at. So I'm like, I've got to do it. That's fantastic. <laughs> we'll keep on doing it and keep on achieving. You. Good luck tonight. Thank you. Thank you. That was good. Except when I forgot your name, that was bad. <laughs>